Hi, today I want to show you how to use AI to generate twinkly effects. Twinkly effects are basically animation videos. I believe all of you already know by now that uh, AI can help you generate very nice video by entering text. But there are some problems with generating video with AI. If you are using a free account, usually you only have a very limited credit to generate a video. And it takes quite a while to generate a 5 seconds video. And the other issue is it's really hard to get a loop video. So today I want to show you another way. But I'm also using AI. I'm going to use DeepSeek. It's free, but you need to register to access DeepSeek. I already prepared some prompt because it takes a while to get it deliver proper results. So uh, I just want to generate some very simple colorful patterns. So in this case, I've got a prompt, a JavaScript. I specify the area because I'm using a 400 string. Basically, it's a rectangle. And I put it 800 times 400 display. And I'm going to. Uh, let the circle bounce from the edge and change the color each time. And th there will be a trail on the circle. Let's try this. Okay, it doesn't take that long. Sometimes the server is busy. Now it's not too bad. You can see it's generating a JavaScript code and with comments. It's really nice. And I'm using the DeepSeek here because there is a run button here. Uh, I don't need to save the HTML code. I just run it from the panel here. So it's done. And there's also a small explanation of the code. Now let's click on this and run. So you can see the circle is running, bouncing from the edge. It's changing color. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the Twingly Screen Mirror 2. I'm running Windows. I got it from Microsoft App Store. So after I start started it. So this is my string 400. Now I have to pick the area I want to mirror to my light. Okay, this is the one. Say OK. And uh, show the screen here. I have to press play here. Okay, now you can see is bouncing back and forward. So I want to make the rectangle to fit the display here. So now you can see the display here. I'm playing this here. So that's uh, my twinkly lights. Now, of course, I can change a little bit. I can go to here. I don't need to repeat everything I just say faster so as you can see here uh, it's saying make the animation faster you can increase the uh, velocity by modifying this here now here is also an explanation increase velocity and this has been changed from 4 to 8, so basically you can change the code by yourself as well. Now let's run it and see. And run. So you can see it's much faster. And I can adjust the contrast here. So now my background is really black. So the next thing I want to show you is I already prepared a prompt. I'm going to make a little bit complex uh, using a black background and 
display some random geometric objects lighting up and fading out gradually. So let's try this. Okay, it's done. So let's try to run the code here. Run the button. So as you can see, the objects popping up on the twinkly lights. You can see they are all different color popping up. And if I want those objects to be bigger, I can resize the rectangle here, make it smaller. Then my object on the twinkly light panel will be larger. The good thing of this is uh, the generation is quite fast and uh, I don't need to worry about the uh, looping. So there's no start or end. The next one is I'm going to try to do some scoring text from left to the right. And each character has a different color. So let's try this. I like this. Is there's always uh, some explanation here. Get back the screen here and run it. Okay, you can see a letter running through here. Of course, I can resize the rectangle here. And the good thing is, as I just said before, there's no begin or end. It just keep on running. There's no broken animation because of the loop is not uh, closing. If you use a video, it will running the same color again and again. This one you can run forever and every time you get different colors. The last thing I want to demonstrate here is uh, showing a countdown until year 2026. So showing the number of days, hours, minutes, seconds, and so on. Let's try this. This will be something using the system clock. So that's a reason uh, using JavaScript is uh, more powerful than just running a video. In you can also do interactive. So for example, hitting a space bar to show something on the screen. Okay, it's done. And I can show you my twinkly lights because it, the resolution is not high enough. So you just see some dots here. But you got the idea what I want to show. So this is using the system clock. So in this case, you don't have to worry about when the video start to show you a countdown. I think that's all about using uh, DeepSeek or in general AI assistant to generate effects for Twingly. At the moment, I just show you that's the uh, principle how to do it. Of course, it, at the moment, you can only show one single effect. At the end, you still have to copy the HTML. Here, there's a copy code. Open a text editor and save it to somewhere. You can create a website, uh, make a list, and it just run through all the different HTML script and showing a sequence of effects. If you want to see how to do that, Maybe I can do another video showing this. Just let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new today. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Well, there are more videos to watch. Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.